Our next guest is a Vietnam veteran and retired Lieutenant Colonel for the United States Army. Even after a distinguished 26-year military career, our Patriot Award winner continued to keep faith with his Vietnam veterans by beginning a second career with the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency, where he would valiantly serve until his retirement in December of 2022. His expertise on accounting for our missing heroes can be attested to not just by me, but by many of my predecessors and members of our national security staff who have witnessed his passion and advocacy during the many briefings that he has given our organization over the years. He has worked on sites around the world, searching for and recovering remains of American MIAs. A native of Perrin, Texas, he holds a bachelor's degree in business administration from Benedictine College in Atchison, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present an American Legion 2023 Patriot Award to Johnny E. Webb, Jr. The American Legion Patriot Award presented to Johnny E. Webb, Jr. for your dedication in locating, identifying, and accounting for thousands of American heroes who were missing or killed in action since the Civil War. After a highly distinguished U.S. Army career, which included a tour in Vietnam, you brought your expertise as a retired lieutenant colonel to what is now the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency. You served DPAA and its predecessor agencies with great distinction for 28 years, leading excavation and negotiation missions in North Korea, China, Vietnam, Burma, Papua New Guinea, and other places where American service members went MIA. You have hosted numerous American Legion delegations led by national commanders at the DPAA laboratory in Hawaii and have often shared your valuable expertise with the American Legion National Security Commission. Your professionalism and tireless advocacy for American MIAs have provided welcome closure for the families of repatriated heroes. Your vital efforts for America's veterans epitomizes the American Legion's ideals of public service. On behalf of the more than 2 million members of the American Legion family, thank you for your patriotism and service to America. Presented this 30th day of August, 2023 at the 104th National Convention. Commander, thank you for that award to the American Legion. Thank you very much. And I couldn't be prouder this day and honored to receive this award during a time when so many people are finding all things to complain about this great nation, the United States of America. I am proud to be called a patriot. I am proud to have worn the uniform of this great nation. It was truly an honor to do so. So I am really privileged to receive this great honor today. And I can say, as you heard, I have traveled around the world to various countries, and I can attest to the fact that America is the greatest country in the world and something we should all be proud of, that we live in this great nation, this great nation that does not forget its veterans, but continues to care for its veterans. And we must remember those thousands of veterans who served in foreign soil and did not return home. The unreturned veterans, they're laying on the battlefields where our great nation fought for the freedom that we have and the freedom of other nations. And I am proud to have been a, a small part of that. Probably one of the things that I am most proud of was my last opportunity to negotiate with the North Koreans when we couldn't get back in country. And I was able to negotiate with the North Koreans to bring those 
but you probably heard of the 55 boxes of remains back of Americans who died in North Korea. But it's more than just the 55 boxes. In those 55 boxes, there's more than 100 American service members represented in those boxes. Over 80 of them have been identified and returned to their families today. So I am, yes, thank you. So I am proud to have provided but a small part of providing answers to those thousands of family members who lost a loved one. That young man, that young woman that went off to war and did not return home. The family not knowing what happened to that loved one. And through the work we have done in DPAA and predecessor organizations, provided answers to those families to give them peace, to give them a place that they can go honor that loved one to take their grandkids and tell them about the bravery of their grandfather who gave his life for the freedom that we share today. And so, as I accept this award, I do it on behalf of so many people. But as I close, I just want to say to each and every one of you, thank you for your service. I am happy to be among you as a veteran of this great country. And to each and every one of you, God bless you and your families, and God bless those men and women that are serving in uniform today. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.